Hi everyone and welcome to my channel Depth First. I hope you are doing well today. We will be solving the problem of uh, do sum in this video and this is lead code problem number one. Let's first read up the question. Given an array of integers nums and an integer target, return indices of the two numbers such that they add up to target. You may assume that each input would have exactly one solution and you may not use the same element twice. You can return the answer in any order. Okay, so let's dive into some more detail as to what is it that they're asking for. They want us to find two numbers in the array that add up to the target and they want us to return their indices. They do tell us in the question that every input will have exactly one solution. So let's look at the first example and the, the first example has this input which is nums array and target is equal to 9. So by just examining this array, we can tell that numbers 2 and 7 add up to 9. So the output for this example or of this example is index 0 and index 1. So this is their second example and they want us to return two indices or um, the indices of two such numbers that can add up to target 6. So by just examining this array, um, you can tell that the, the numbers at index 1 and 2, which is 2 plus 4, is equal to target 6. So that's the output of this example. It's index 1 and 2. So let's take a look at a brute force solution. Now for the brute force solution, we need to loop through each number of the array and then we need to for each number of the array we need to find another another number that exists that can add up to the target so the time complexity of this um, approach or the brute force approach is o of n square now that is an expensive solution in terms of time complexity can we do better though so it turns out that we can improve the time complexity by using the hash map data structure. One of the key properties of hash map is that it has a constant lookup and a constant ins insertion time. So whenever you encounter a problem of figuring out, hey, hey, have I seen this, this value before? Uh, and you want the answer in constant time, that's when you would you would use or you would think of a hash map. To solve this question, we essentially want to remember if we have seen a number before so that we don't have to we don't have to step through the array twice. As we enumerate through the array for each element, we want to check if we have seen a number before that can be summed up to be equal to target. If you'd like a deep dive into the hash map data structure, please check out the link to the video in the description. With that understanding, let's examine the solution. So this is the example that we will work through. The first thing we'll do is instantiate an empty hash map. We'll use the hash map to store the array value and its index as the key value pair. As we step through the array for each number in the array, we'll check if the target minus number exists in the hash map. Let's start with the first element. We'll check if the target 8 minus 3 equal to 5 is in the hash map. It's not there, so we'll add the current array value, which is 3, and its index, which is 0, as the key value to the hash map. We're storing the index because we want to return the indices of the two, and two numbers that add up to the target as the final answer. The next element is 4. We'll check if the target 8 minus 4 is equal to 4 is on the hash map and it's not there. So we'll add the number 4 and its index 1 uh, as the key value pair and then move on to the next element 7. We'll check if 8 minus 7 equal to 1 is in the hash map. It's not there. So we'll add 7 and its index 2 to the hash map and move on to the next element 4. Uh, and then now we'll check if 8 minus 4 equal to 4 is in the hash map and it is there. So we found the second number. We'll return the current index which is 3 and uh, the index that is stored in the hash map which is 1 as the final answer. It's, down, it's time now to review the code. 
So we'll enumerate through the nums array and every time we step through, we'll check if target minus num is in the hash map. Um, and if it's there, we'll return the current index and the value in the hash map as the answer. Otherwise, we'll add uh, the current number and its index as the key value pair to the hash map. So the time complexity is O of n and the space complexity is also O of n. Well, that's because in the worst case, we could end up adding all elements to the hash map. Uh, well, maybe all elements except the last one because the question guarantees at least one solution. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. And if this video has helped you, please consider giving it a like and subscribing to my channel. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below. I will try my best to respond to them. Thank you again.